Chris Hinkle, your Truckee and Tahoe Realtor with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty. I'm here today to talk about insulation. Now whether you're building a new house, putting on an addition, or buying an older home that you want to add insulation to, here's a few tips you might want to think about. A lot of people think that the only insulation is just that insulation. There's a lot of choices. Now for instance, we're building this building I'm in right here and we are using a combination of products so we can get the highest performance for the least cost. So in the ceiling right here, we're using a combination system. It's a closed cell spray foam polyurethane insulation and we're going to put bat so underneath it. The product that we use is a Johns Manville Corban number no. 3 and it it's our value is about seven per inch. Now the reason to use spray foam insulation is because it provides air sealing and a moisture barrier all in one step. Now the reason to put it in the ceiling is because the roof has the greatest heat loss. It also provides a moisture barrier and seals up all the cracks all in one step. Now these are 14 inch rafters and we have about four and a half inches of spray foam up here giving the ceiling with just that spray foam an R value of about 31.5. Now the cost for the spray foam insulation is about $1.20 per square foot, which is 12 inches by 12 inches by 1 inch. It's not cheap insulation. Under this we're going to put R30 bats, giving us an insulation value of about R61.5. It's really high. Now it's important when you're doing a hybrid system to have at least 50% of your R value in the spray foam to help avoid moisture condensation in the roof. And that's because this roof system is not a ventilated system. Now in the walls, we're going to use a different system. It's made by the same company, Johns Manville Spider Blown, it's called. It's a fiberglass insulation, and our wall cavity is five and a half inches thick. It provides an R value of 23. We're using this in the walls, and it will fill all of the cavities around the electrical boxes, around the plumbing, and so we shouldn't have any drafts going back and forth. Using the fiberglass prevents what's called the chimney effect, so we don't have long channels of air pockets, which pull the warm air up and out of your house. I really like using this fiberglass blow-in insulation because it fills all of the cavities. It's five and a half inches thick. It has an R value of 23. We put the four mil plastic over it to act as a vapor barrier. The fiberglass bats in the ceiling don't need that uh, foil coating on one side because that is a vapor barrier and we already have a vapor barrier. Now if you want to re-insulate or put some energy savings into a home that you're buying or already own, there's a couple of different options. I know one of the sexiest things to do is go ahead and replace all the windows, but that's not where you're going to get the most energy savings. You want to insulate. And you can do that by drilling holes from the inside of the house into the wall cavity or on the outside of the wall and spray in some insulation. If it's an older home, you might be taking off and replacing the roof and you could take off that, that roofing, spray in the insulation, and put new roofing on top. Another place to insulate an older home is under the floor. You can spray in insulation under there, or also put bats, or both. Now, insulation can be very costly, but it's well worth it. It'll pay off in about seven years. We, this building has about 665 square feet of garage below, with another livable space above, that's about 429 square feet, and altogether the insulation in this building, we're spending about $8,200. I'm not an insulation expert, my husband's just been building homes for over 40 years in this area, so I just happen to know a little bit about building. If you want to go look at any homes in the Truckee and Tahoe area, or if you're interested in selling your home, I would love to help you out. My name is Chris Hinkle. I'm with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty. You can reach me at 530-412-2644. I look forward to hearing from you.